Okay, so I have uh, been asked to do number 243. Uh, this is from section 2.1.4, uh, and it's uh, CC2, CC3, excuse me, CC3. So uh, eighth grade math. Uh, so 2-43. It says to, well, read the math notes in this lesson. So hopefully you did that. And then evaluate each expression below. So the math notes are going to show you how, but I'm also going to show you how here too. So when you evaluate an expression, it means take what you see. In this case, A, the expression is 2 plus 3x. And they want you to, instead of x, they want you to say x is equal to 4. So evaluate that expression for x equals 4. What does that look like? Well, we rewrite the expression, but instead of an x, we're going to put a 4. Now, does this mean 34? No. When you have a number and a next to a variable, there's multiplication. It means 3 times 4. So we have 2 plus 3 times 4. Board of operations say do the multiplication first, then the addition, and you end up with an answer of 14. So 2 plus 3x, when x equals 4, is equal, the whole thing is, is 14. All right, so let's do a couple more of these. I think we can probably go from there. So b says 4 minus 5c, and in this case, 4c equals negative 1 half, right? So again, we're looking at, in place of the c, I'm putting negative 1 half, and it's 4 minus 5 Remember, when there's, when there's a number next to a variable, directly next to it, it means multiply. So I'll use parentheses to show you that in this case. So instead of 4 minus 5c, I'm going to say 4 minus 5 times negative 1 half because that's what's going in place of the c, right? So we end up having to multiply first. So this is going to be 4. Now, I have minus, and then it's 5 times negative 1 half is negative 5 halves. When you multiply a whole number times a fraction, you can put that whole number over one and just multiply straight across. So, and notice what happens here. I have a minus a negative. So minus a negative actually means a plus. So it's four plus five halves. And then if we're gonna continue to simplify that or add those. Five halves, what is five halves? Five halves is actually the same thing as two and one half, correct? So 4 plus 2 and 1 half is 6 and 1 half. Or if you were going to write it as an improper fraction, that would be um, 13 halves. Okay. So there's B. So let's look at C. C is, I'm going to put C over here. C is 3D squared minus 1. And again, this time for D is equal to negative 5. So... We have three, remember now, again, there's a, a number in front of the variable. So it's times, times what? Instead of D, I'm putting a negative five. And then there's this squared that's connected to that D. And then minus one. So order of operations, I have to do the exponents first. So I end up with three times, well, negative five squared is negative five times negative five, which is positive 25. Still all minus 1. And then from there, we're going to go 3 times 70, three times 25 is 75 minus 1. Final answer is 74. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, we're on a roll here. Let's do D. D says, what does D say? I'll write it down. It's negative 4. So this is D. Negative 4 parentheses, so that means negative 4 all times, r minus 2, and again, 4, r is equal to negative 1. So we're going to put a negative 1 in place of the r. So it's negative 4 times what? Instead of r, I'm writing negative 1 minus 2. Okay, so instead of r minus 2, it's negative 1 minus 2. So you do what's inside the parentheses first, order of operations. So negative 4 times, well, negative 1 minus 2. That's negative 3, right? You look at negative 1 minus 2 is the same thing as negative 1 plus a negative 2, 
right? You're adding negative and a negative. Negative one, negative two gives me negative three. And then now I multiply negative four times negative three. Negative times a negative is a positive. Four times three is 12. So it's positive 12. All right. Okay, we're on a roll. So let's go ahead and finish it up. We'll do E. E. Let's see if I can rewrite E someplace. I'll just rewrite it. E is, uh, let's see, E is 3 all times the quantity T minus 12 all squared minus 1. In this case, 4T is equal to 14. Okay, so let me give me some room here. So that's E, 3 times the quantity, T minus 12, and all that quantity there, that is squared, minus 1. So instead of T, we're writing a 14. So it's 3 times, the quantity is 14 minus 12. All of that squared, and then at the end, minus 1. So working your order of operations, start with inside the parentheses, 14 minus 12 is 2. So now I have 3 times 2 squared minus 1. Next part of order of operations would be the exponents. So we're going to go 3. Now it's times 4 because it's 2 squared, 2 times 2 minus 1. And then 3 times 4 is 12 minus 1. Final answer, 11. All right, there you have it.